<laughs> Shalom and cracky, high speed cracky. Okay everyone, it's about 10 a.m. outside Minchel Street, Crown Court. The reason there is a, a minor media circus, a minor media circus, the reason there's photographers with small step ladders, the reason there's so many people going in is because there's a celebrity in court today. There's a very famous man. Hello, good morning. How are you, mate? I've missed him. He's, he's, I've missed him, I know. He's gone in. But the question everyone wants to know is, why did Ryan Giggs bang his brother's wife for eight years straight? Why was a millionaire who could have any woman on earth, you know, within reason, choose his brother's wife to be disloyal and to bang her, to have an affair with his brother's wife for eight years. And then when confronted by his brother, because he found out, he told his brother, I was using your wife as a sex object for eight years. Sorry, brother. How can you forgive someone that betrays his own brother like that? I'm not saying banging your brother's wife means that you're guilty of controlling and domestic abuse and all that stuff that he's in court for but it paints a picture the man is an absolute degenerate and to analyze his physiognomy for a second his eyes are far too close together so this rat-faced cheater banging his brother's wife for eight years is probably going to get what he deserves in the crown court here at Minchell Street in Manchester this is Charlie Veach the official Manchester Crown Court uh, reporter outside Minchell Street. Thank you very much. German TV. Yeah, I'd love to do an interview for German TV. Look at that. I'm being invited to speak on German TV. Thank you. Let me get my backpack. Lock up the brother wife banger. Banged his brother's wife for eight years. He's going to get what he deserves. Banging his brother's wife, beating up his current girlfriend, allegedly, allegedly. You might shut the door on my rant, but you can't shut the door on the truth. Because I'm not tall enough. Oh no, I'm not going to start. I'll break it. Nope, 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 nope. We're here at the Ryan Giggs trial. I went into the Minchell Street Crown Court to use the toilet, and I swear to God, I'm in there having a wee. Ryan Giggs walks in, and I just say, Good luck with your trial, Mr. Giggs. And all my clever things that I was going to say to him if I saw him. Just wiping the lens. Outside the Ryan Giggs trial, and look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The Kodak Disc 400. Do you know what year this is from? Uh, 1982. 1982, when uh, yours truly was two years old. Look at this. A disc loading mechanism. And doesn't that disc symbol look a bit like the compact disc symbol? And this is from when Kodak was a massive, powerful company. Do you know what this reminds me of? This is the inside of the Kodak Disc 400. It uses disc film. Doesn't this remind you guys of a mini disc player from 20 years ago? Very cool. Why are you cycling on the pavement? Why? Outside the court, why? You're wearing a helmet, you should be on the road. You know it's illegal, according to the Highway Code. Um, uh, section 73 of the Highway Act 1835. Why are you cycling? No, but why are you cycling on the pavement? Yeah, you know you're guilty. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For fun. For YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, could you please cycle on the road? Yeah, Charlie Beach. Charlie Beach. Yeah. But uh, please don't grab my camera or get aggressive or anything. It's, it's for comedy reasons. I don't... 
You look like a nice guy. I would never, I'd never make you feel uncomfortable. So you're saying you're cycling on the pavement because you don't want to get murdered by the trams. Okay, fair enough. Cut. My name's Chris, and you're watching the Charlie Beach Channel. From the sky to this man. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Charlie Beach Show, my friends. Thank I'm you. Len from Hume. Len from Hume. Thanks, mate. It's a hot Monday here in Manchester. We're on the cusp of another four day, 30 degrees Celsius heat wave. Everyone's having a good time in Piccadilly Gardens, but always there's, there's people who wreck it for everyone. And this is why you have to have men dressed like tennis balls at Wimbledon in fluorescent stuff walking past. And they're gonna keep the peace, keep the Queen's peace. What's your favorite gardening activity on Ho Street? It's hoeing. But don't go too close to him to not, don't, yeah, if he's not well. Keep an eye on him in case he hurts someone else. Nice socks. Oh, 100%. He's, he's, he's off his head, man. He's tripping balls. He's very dangerous. Careful with the tram, everyone. Do you need an ambulance? He says, he's asked me, my battery, sorry, my data ran out on the, I had to delete some footage. He's uh, in his socks going around asking people to help him. Just as my camera cut out, I said, can I call you an ambulance? Do you need medical assistance? He's like, no, no, no. I just feel like I'm in a panic, but I'm worried he's gonna take out his stress or panic on someone's face. There you go.